Hi, I'm Kristen Waymer, Clay High School, one of our visual art teachers here. Um, today we just finished up with this awesome demonstration by uh, Clay High School 1996 grad, artist, muralist, amazing artist, Dean Davis. Um, he worked on uh, these different plexiglass painting projects. He's actually really worked on retooling the idea of taking our COVID boards, the plastic, plastic COVID boards, we cut them down in different sizes. And he has been doing a great job coming up with um, different ideas that he's using for uh, these sub substrates to be artworks that we're creating. Um, so he actually got to demonstrate for the students his process and how he goes about creating his art and the layers that are involved in this, which I think was really interesting because our students are studying highlights, shadows, midtones, and they really had to think about that whole idea in layers and how you can create depth and dimension that way. Um, so it was really nice as he walked everyone through it. Uh, we got to watch him. He, he painted, he talked. Um, he even had some kids come up and, and actually paint into his artwork. So that was a lot of fun for them. Um, but what was nice is at the end, he could talk about how he plays around with these layers. And you can take some of these panels out, how it will change the artwork. Um, there's one art work, not one of these up here, but one that the students said, hey, we think it looks better if you flip it around the backside and add a little bit to it. So, you guys think you paint like this? It's pretty easy. Honestly, it's a lot easier than you guys think. And it's fun too, because there's just never stopping you, you know? Once you get to a point, you can keep on evolving it, <clears throat> change it. Is this possible with regular canvas? You can do it in the digital world, right? But you can't, and this is the only medium that I know, like in, that actually it's tangible, you know, it's not a computer that you can do this with. So I think it's fun, honestly. I hope, you're, I hope you guys learned something. I love it. I think it's, I think it's constantly something to play around with, you know? What do you guys think about like this area? Is this what I'm talking? Yeah. So now that you see the true value of this, right? It's not an illusion anymore. Right? We're not going off of anything like a template. We're taking, we took the, like, the painting and we had to own it now, right? So we can do whatever we want with it. Like <clears throat> canvas and plexiglass. Yeah. Like, I would love to see something like that. If you had those layers like that, uh, plexiglass piece. That'd be really fun. Okay, where are my highlights? Where are my midtones? Where are my shadows? And how does my color relate to my highlight, my midtones, and my shadows? Let's just start right there. Let's get that highlight because we know that that one needs to exist. Good, 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 good. Give me another spot that you should put on the eye. The old eyeball, right? Yep, give it a little time. All right, I can live with that. Can you live with that? Good job, awesome. Good ball that. So it was really nice for the students just to see the versatility of a new medium, a repurposed medium, and what a creative mind like Dean Davis um, can do with it all.